<laughs> What's up guys? Have you ever spent hours and hours on guitar tone to only end up hating it the next day? Are you wondering how to make your guitar sound huge? Stay tuned because by the end of this video, you're gonna be feeling a lot more confident about how to approach your guitar sounds. Hey there, my name is Joey Sturgis and you're watching this video because you're probably like me working with music and trying to navigate this whole world we call audio production. I'm here to help you figure it out, get to the bottom of exactly what you need to overcome your obstacles, increase your skill, and totally master the art of music production. So let's get into it. Now this one's obvious. A great guitar sound is going to start with a great guitar performance. We already know that. But we don't always have access to perfect guitar performances. But you can definitely build them from a combination of recording riff by riff or even chord by chord and patching them together to make a perfect take. It's not the most ideal situation, but it'll work when you're in a bind. And if you take the time to really get the actual part itself close to perfect as you can, um, then you can move on to the other parts of the guitar sound and you won't be always focused around, you know, what's happening with the original part of the guitar. Guitars need to be in tune and for a really good reason, because if your guitar is slightly out of tune, it's gonna be out of tune forever when captured on a recording. So things like frequency balance and dynamics and even thickness can all be affected by the tuning of the guitar and the pitch of the performance. So make sure to get this right or you're going to suffer the consequence. Um, I remember a time when I was recording uh, We Came As Romans and we were doing some pretty intricate chords and the problem was if the tuning wasn't just right, those chords would cause this really weird sort of like bass fluctuation. Basically it would cause the whole mix to sound like an extra guitar came into the mix and it was just stupid and so we had to work and work and work and get that tuning just right. Uh, in order to make those guitar parts not take over the whole mix or to not make my life a living hell to have to automate everything. So getting it right at the, at the source, especially the tuning, is going to affect all kinds of stuff like dynamics and all that stuff, so it's super important. Um, now if you're working with distorted guitars, getting the right amount of gain on your distortion is insanely important because too much gain and you're gonna wash out all the detail and not enough gain, it'll sound weak and out of place. So you gotta match the level of aggression intended in the playing with the amount of gain that you wish to apply without sacrificing the clarity of the notes and without overdoing it to a point that washes out the punchiness of the guitar. Finally, you need to control the dynamics of your guitar tracks and layers with compression or limiters. Even though uh, most guitars will sound pretty good in solo, in the context of the mix, they're gonna lose their dynamic balance and they're gonna get drowned out with other elements. I know if you're like me, you've been there, you've had those guitar tracks just totally all over the place and it requires tons of automation but the compressor will help you do a lot less volume writing for sure. Anyway, this is what I think, but there is always something more interesting and that is what you think. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe and follow to see more. Do you wanna learn more about my audio production process? Well, you're in luck because I've teamed up with Creative Live to give you my exact methods for audio production step-by-step -step in what we call the Studio Pass. This class is packed with everything you need to craft audio productions just like mine. Click the link on this video to enroll now. I will be compensated when you make a purchase. I'm also gonna make a special offer. If you purchase the class, send me your receipt to support at joeysturgistones.com and you'll get a free JST plugin up to $49 in value. How awesome is that? Click the link on the video and grab my Studio Pass class with Creative Live. Stick around because tomorrow I'm gonna to be talking about why you should learn from me about mixing this month. That's all for now. Talk to you tomorrow. Happy mixing.